This problem is called rectangle area. Have the function rectangle area take a uh, take a parameter string stored in strarr, which will only contain four elements and be in the form x y, where x and y are both integers, and rerun the area of the rectangle formed by the four points on a Cartesian grid. The four elements will be in arbitrary order. For example this then your program should return 6 because the width of the rectangle is 3 and the height is 2 and the area of the rectangle is equal to width multiplied by a height so it means that it is going to give us an array in the array we will have four elements and it will be in the form of x and y so the first one is x the second one is y and then return the area of the rectangle from by the four points on a Cartesian grid. The four elements will be in arbitrary order. So I'm getting a string and there are no commas between them. So here is how we are going to solve it. This is the visual repre representation of that array that you are seeing 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 2, and 3, 2. 0, 0 is here. 3, 0 here, 3, 2 here, and 0, 2 is here. So this is the grid, this is the rectangle. Now we are getting that in a string format. So we need to first remove the string and make it into a regular array. So we are going to do, we are converting this using map method. We are going to map over each element. And whatever the element we are getting, we are checking if they have any digits or not. If they have digits, then whatever we are getting, we are mapping them again and converting them to number. And we will get our result like this. It was like this. And after running this, running this line of code, we are going to get an array which will contain the numbers by a comma now that we have our numbers we are going to find the minimum and maximum of x and y coordinates why is that why do we need to find the minimum and maximum see in in order to find the area of a rectangle we need to find out the height and width here you can see in the x-axis we get the width and in the y-axis we get the height so if i want to have a guess by looking at the photo we can see that the width is three zero one two three the width is three right now if i take the maximum of x and minimum of x and subst uh, subtract it then i can get the maximum width so I'm going to take the minimum. I need to find out the minimum and maximum of x axis in order to find the width. And same goes for the y as well. I need to find the minimum and maximum of y axis in order to find the height. So I will find the minimum and maximum of y coordinates. After doing that, I get the width and height by subtracting it from the minimum and maximum and then i can get the area because i have the height and width then i'll eventually have the area so let's code it up first we are going to parse input strings to extract coordinates so the points will be will map it i'm getting each element and in the in every element i'll try to match i'll try to match any digits and then when I get them, 
I'll take each element and I'll convert them to number. So let's console log it points. I'm getting this. Now I need to find the minimum and maximum of x and y coordinates. To do that, I'm going to write min x in x equal mat dot min points zero zero. So what does that mean? Zero zero means the first element and inside that the first element. Then points one zero. It refers to the second element and the first element of that second element. Points two zero then points three zero let's console log mean x not a number so I made a mistake somewhere So the mistake I made, it should be like this. So yes, I'm getting exactly what I want. I'll do the same for the x minimum and maximum as well. Min y mat dot min. This will be, I'll just copy this, paste it, and change the coordinates. Uh, y is in the first index, so it is going to be 1. Then it's going to be also 1, and it is going to be also 1. So I'll just copy paste them, and instead of min i'll say max x and i'll change it to max max y i'll change it to max Okay, I'm getting all of them. So I'll find my height. Calculate width and height is going to be I'm getting my height and width, and now I'll get my area. Oh, 
all the test cases have passed.